All right, everybody. Welcome to Watercolor Happy Hour. <laughs> um, I think this is, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. Um, well, you've seen me do watercolor before for sure, and it's been happy hour for me, but maybe you didn't know that. <laughs> um, on the last watercolor show that I did, Kim joined us. Uh, she was adding comments into uh, the comment area and providing feedback, and we were chit-chatting away, and we kind of struck up a friendship. She's running a few minutes late right now, uh, but she will be joining us tonight. She has she's a photographer is her um, her profession, and she had a, a very important customer come in and a very important important order. So that kind of trumps things when you're in the artistic field, when the customer wants something or there's an order, like you put things on hold for a few minutes and you get going. That's all good. When she comes on here, we'll make fun of her and, and tease her and stuff like that. So um, hopefully I'm going to be keeping my eye on the chat to make sure she got the link to join. So um, I'm going to just jump right on in. Um, would love to, um, give you a little bit of background about myself, feel free to leave uh, comments. Uh, I see Shannon is here. Hi, Shannon. It's been a while. And we've got um, Mary Casey is here. Hey, Mary, where are you joining us from? I don't think I've seen you on the show before, but I could be wrong. Feel free to correct me. So the original intent was, uh, and we're still going to be doing this, was that uh, we're doing watercolors tonight using IOD stamps. And I have no idea what Kim is bringing to the table. We decided um, let's do a little stamping in advance and then surprise each other with our choices of what we wanted to watercolor tonight. And um, so I'm ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, jump right in here. Let me put my camera pointing down towards my surprise. All right. How many of you guys have been around IOD long enough to recognize this? Yeah, this is called Koi and Peony. This is the very first, let me pull the stamp set up here for you. I'm actually retired. This is the very first stamp that I ever bought. I bought it from Michelle at Serendipity House. Um, she's the one that got me hooked on uh, IOD. And this was the first stamp I, I bought. And I absolutely, this was my gateway. <laughs> What's it called? I guess the gateway stamp to IOD. <laughs> but this is just like a beautiful stamp that you can do so much with. Um, it is retired. You probably, if you love it as much as I do, you probably can find a, a stockist who has first generation or um, older stamps somewhere. Um, but I do not. Uh, oh, let's see. Yeah, Shannon. Yeah, um, so this is so easy. I'm going to play a little video and I'm going to show you guys how, how I stamp this. And I'm not doing masking or anything. I'm being very straightforward. And um, Whoops, Mary says that she's been looking for the stamp. Yeah, Google, Mary. Google's your best friend. Um, and if you are seriously looking for it, I can put the word out with the IOD stockist through our private Facebook page and let them know that we have people who are looking for this. So, and Sandy's joining from Florida. Yes, you haven't used it yet? Okay. This, Sandy, is, yes, I am glad you caught this live too. Let me share a little video with you guys. I'm going to um, just show you how I earlier today um, went and took my thin mount and I added the stamps to my thin mount and I positioned it over my watercolor paper so I could kind of get an idea of um, what the composition so I did kind of a tricky thing here and I'll show you um, as we go through here. So I'm sorry, I should, let me jump ahead of me positioning around the blue tape because that's just gonna bore you to death. So you ink up your, your IOD stamp. I'm using just straight up black right here. And, uh, and then I've got my stamps positioned on my thin mount and you just start patting away um, at your stamps. 
this first side has a has a lot of ink on it because I just put the ink in. I didn't wait too long. I wasn't that patient. So I stamped away here. And then you're going to see me flip it over and press it down. So again, very straightforward. I was going to try and do some masking and do something a little bit more complicated tonight. But honestly, I just didn't have the brain power to do it. And I wanted I wanted just to do something kind of fun and easy. And I love this stamp. I think it's very, uh, very much can, you know, live on its own. It doesn't need masking. So anyways, I've been trying to mask everything. I've been trying to combine everything with the Bella stamp that just came out. And I had ideas for this, but yeah, didn't, didn't work out. And I'm fine with it. I think that here we go. So I flip it over. And if you guys have stamped before, then you know, when you flip it over, you commit, you put it down on your surface, you hold down hard with one hand, and then you press with another. You don't want to smudge your stamp. Oh, look, Kim is joining. Here, I'm going to add Kim. I'm going to put my, um, let's see here, Kim. I'm going to add you to the stream. Okay, Kim! I have, I have my we other... Don't see um, your boobs. We don't see your face. Okay. <laughs> There you are. <laughs> Welcome. How are you? I'm good. Sorry, I had to work late, Maine. Oh, no. I was telling everybody how uh, you had an important customer come in with an order, and that trumps all when you are an artist, and that's what you do for a profession. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm just, I was just started off here by sharing, um, a little video that I put together of the stamp that I'm, that I used. And so I'm using the, um, the Koi stamp. I don't know if you have that one. I love that one. I don't have it. Okay. I think I got like one of the last ones, but, um, here I am. I'm so now I'm doing a little something tricky. I'm stamping the other side because I want to change the composition a little bit and I'm not changing anything on the thin mount at all. I'm just going to change how I place the stamps and the thin mount on the paper here. So let's give it a second. Cool. We've got uh, lots uh -huh. to mute something. Are you getting an echo? I am. Is are any of our watchers getting an echo? It's because you've got two uh, you've got two things going. You've got right. your yeah. So put your iPhone on mute. Okay. Try that. Hold on. Did this work? I don't know. Are you still getting an echo? Echo, echo, um, I'm echo. Take my earbuds out now. Try this. Try this. How's that? I, now I'm hearing an echo. Dang it. <laughs> Shannon, I had this all worked out yesterday. <laughs> well, see, yesterday Maybe. I wasn't, I wasn't um, part of the equation because it's, it's when you're, it's, if it's just you versus adding somebody else in, then uh, right. you can, yeah. So are you hearing an echo now? I am not. Okay. Is there anybody else hearing an echo? I just heard something pop open. <laughs> is it, what is it? It is Flying Embers Kombucha. Yum. Hard, hard kombucha. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have not tried hard kombucha before. It's very, very yummy. All right, I'm gonna remove my video from the, from the stream here. All right, so I don't know if you guys saw that, it's, um. It is, oh, look. So I just made, I just switched it up Sorry. a little bit. I'm, not, I'm gonna probably use this one right here. Oh, let me, I'm back Can up you see here. Me? Yes. Okay, switch me I out. see, so, oh, so here, I'm gonna switch to your iPhone. I'm gonna add that to the stream and I'm gonna remove your face and then I'm gonna point my camera down and now we're all about the art. All right. Is that working for everybody? Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good to go. All right, show us. Yeah, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make yours a little bit bigger. Whoops, no, wrong way. Hold on one second, because I wanna see what you've got there. 
Okay, show us, give, give us a walkthrough of what, what you've got going. Oh, if you're talking right now, I can't hear you. Hey, Kim, if you can hear me, give a thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, we can't hear you. Um, right. um, there, there you are. We got there you. Yay. All okay. right. I'm still now. getting a terrible thing here. Wait, if I do this, I can't. Okay. Can you hear All me? Right. Yes. All right. There you go. Yes. So these are my old book pages that I really like. And this is, oh, it's funny. It's turned sideways. I'll turn it this way for you guys. Um, so that's just what I have. This is what I played with last night. Little, I watched I that. I love that. Bring it night. closer. <laughs> Uh, oh, is it? Did you cut it out and put it on? No, it looks like that, though, doesn't it? It totally looks like that. What do the yeah. words say? Is it? Oh, it's the words that come along with the um, with the stamp. Yeah, it's the Death's Head Moth. Yes, moth. crazy. People. Love it. Cool, cool, cool. So anyway, so now I already have through the magic of television the thing I'm going to paint. All right. So I, I don't know which one I should paint, but. Ooh, I think you did. Maybe, well, I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys who are watching. Yeah, it looks like a mole, doesn't it? What do you guys think? Should we, which one should Kim paint? Put your, put your thoughts in the comments. Hmm. 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 Anyone? So you here's our it. beautiful IOD thing that you can get from the Accidental Art Maker store. <laughs> the book page. Uh, that's very sweet. The... <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to okay. plug me. I, I appreciate it, but it's not about sales tonight. Tonight's about getting to know each other and watercolor. And, um, exactly. Yeah. So, um, but we're seeing the book page. So you're going to do your book page. Okay, cool. I'm going to, I'm going to change the cameras a little bit. Okay. So that we've got that. Um, Kim, tell me if you like that view more for sharing or that. I like that. I'm, I'm wondering if I can, if I can just, I hate to take this thing out of here. Yeah. But hang on. Because if it turns sideways. There you go. We, we should can be you get it a little bit closer. Uh, no, not really. Let's, see. let's do this. Cause I think what Thank I can you. do is, I think that's good for yours. And then I'll just yeah. move, I'll move mine around when I, um, when I shift, like when I start working on the flower over here off the screen. Okay. okay. All right. I think we're set. Cheers, Kim. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. I'm going to pour it in there. I almost poured my water in there. Oh, a Nice red. Very yes. Nice. From Kirkland, yeah. the Kirkland Winery. <laughs> That's the, the Kirkland Winery, is that what you said? Yes, yeah, also known as Costco. Nice. I, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, my a friend of mine who uh, is a photographer friend of mine, we always used to call it the Pro Lab because people would get their professional pictures, you know, printed and developed at Costco. And so we'd be like, oh, are you getting it done at the pro lab? Uh -huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sure Krista knows what I'm talking about. <sighs> okay. All right. So we're just going to start. Yeah. I'm starting with just putting down some um, plain old fashioned water on my biggest koi fish here. I watched a See? bunch of videos earlier about koi fish to try and think if I wanted to go realistic or if I wanted to just to do whatever the heck I wanted. And guess what I decided to do, Kim? Whatever the heck you wanted. You were correct. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> totally. All right. Look at this. Look how bright this watercolor oh, is. Oh, wow. It's blowing me away how good that stuff is. It is really pretty. I can't put water on mine because the thing about the book page is it's super, super porous. Oh. Uh, so it ends up just like soaking in like crazy. But I still like it because I really like to do the book page. 
because it's just cool. Cause it's like an old um, treasure book of treasure Island that somebody got from a, a, an estate. This woman who was a hoarder passed away and man, did she have a lot of books and stuff. And so oh, yeah. I, I bought this book and I've already used like five or six pages. I'll have to share some with you. Yes. Okay. That would be fun to do. Book page challenge. Okay. Yeah. I'm just wetting up my 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 watercolors are super dry. I have I don't think I've used them since the last time. Oh my gosh. I like know. the time we met on the first date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um yes shannon these watercolors are on my site and don't kill me i actually dropped the price on them a little bit today because i found out that so i bought these you buy when you're when you're when you're selling things you buy you buy your products wholesale and you sell them retail and there is a wholesale site called fair who i've bought some things from and uh, I bought these watercolors and they had like a recommended retail price, which of course, you know, newbie, just stuck it on yeah. in. And um, I feel like was someone, someone pointed out to me, hey, go to Amazon, because guess what? It's cheaper on Amazon sense. and they're selling it on Amazon and they're not supposed to do that. So anyways, I went, uh, I went on in and I... Uh, I brought the prices down so that I am competing with Amazon and I will not be buying from fair again. No, I think <laughs> fair, so fair is such a weird place. I looked at them too, for some things uh -huh. and I noticed, I noticed that they don't really, um, they like to try and give you lots of options, but it doesn't seem like you couldn't get a good deal from the manufacturer without fair in the middle. Yeah, yeah, it's just, I'm, I'm, I, I bought a bunch of stuff from uh, Tombow um, and uh, also from Fair and and Tombow severely on Amazon. It was like a fraction. It was like basically what I paid for wholesale. Oh I was God. not happy. And I like, to the point of, I, I wrote Fair and um, essentially I got the products for free because of all the shenanigans that happened with uh with fair yeah so shannon's saying not sure which one to get i think you've got the classics right do you have the classics colors? yeah this and is yeah the classics. yeah look at tropicals and um there I, I would say if you're not sure which one to get go for the classics yeah it's so great because you can do so much mixing i would oh here they are these are my colors I love it that it has this little thing. And, and of course I, I switched these, but you know, Hey, it's my thing and white watercolor. I think we were, I was talking about that in my little practice video. Uh -huh. I never knew there was white watercolor. I didn't either. You know, um, Lexi um, Grenzer mentioned that the other night when we were talking with her that she has, somebody asked about white, white watercolor and uh -huh. or a white pen and there's some kind of pen she mentioned i forget the name of it and she said that um that it was the best that she likes and i think it's like for highlighting and st and things like that yeah because yeah. it's nice to have the light show through yes yeah and uh make sh make things pop up a little bit and give it that dimension i want to know how you got that dimension mm -hmm. on that one butterfly the first one I that know. you showed us because that's so pretty yeah, this was basically um, also, it wasn't watercolor paint because I, of course, forgot my paints when I went home yesterday. So uh -huh. this is um, their uh, markers that have a brush on them and you can activate them with water. So yeah. that's why like this is so funky, but I really liked it anyway. I oh, I think cool. it's beautiful. Was, I love that's it. That's the first crappy one I did. <laughs> but better. you know what? Your crappy one's not crappy. Oh, right. That's true. I shouldn't, I shouldn't diss on my own self. Should you I? shouldn't, but it sincerely is not crappy. I really like it. Thank you. Aww. It was, um, it cracks me up because we were watching Silence of the Lambs and I was like, oh, I have that on my, on my uh, butterflies. <laughs> oh, gosh, I can't Stop watch it. that movie anymore. I watched it like 
Mm-hmm. One time, and I was like, never again. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> in fact, yeah, I couldn't yeah. watch anything with Anthony. What's his name? Anthony Perkins. Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. Hopkins. Yeah. yeah. No, I couldn't watch anything with him again after that. Yeah. So, I know. So, so I, a little secret because yeah. I I told my child that I was like, no, Hannibal Lecter is. Anthony Hopkins is animal. They are one in the same. Yes. And there's no way that I want to watch anyone else play that role. Cause it's no, there's no way they could do it as well. And guess what? What? <laughs> there's the, sh- the TV show called Hannibal that had four seasons mm-hmm. and, and Mads Mikkelsen plays yeah. Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. And holy, holy crap. He's, He's so good. good. He's like, now I can't watch Anthony Hopkins anymore. We watched um, <laughs> we watched uh, Red Dragon, and then we watched um, The Sounds of the Lambs last night. We're uh, obviously like doing a, uh, my my child is in theater class, and so they're all into like different directors and different screenplays and how this dialogue matches. And so we've been just having a blast watching all these things of the same story. And Mads, uh, I kind of have a little um, uh, little sex fantasy going on about him. Not going to lie. Oh, really? Ew. <laughs> he's, he's pretty hot. And then the, uh, the guy uh, that... A hot cannibal? It, um, totally. Totally. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I know. That's See, so now funny. we've devolved. Did you, Shannon said she saw that. Is she talking about the Mads thing? I can't tell because I can't I so. see the comments. Yeah, um, yeah kind of just kind of crazy because uh, I never thought I would feel that way about Hannibal Lecter. Not, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. And uh, it was just good. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, okay, we devolved into Kim's fantasies about serial killers that's great i hope lots of people are not too offended no (laughs) we're all fun and games here yeah oh that was my air bud that popped out the series yes yeah shannon said she saw the series it's so good they were supposed to do another season of it and they didn't because um i guess uh no i think part of it was because it was pre-covid I think part of it was that it was on, I want to say NBC Mm -hmm. and, and then um, it got bought, like Netflix was going to buy it and do another season. And then that didn't happen. And then they couldn't get the rights to the character Clarice. Oh, really? So, yeah. So they just dropped it. So Clarice isn't in the Hannibal series at all. Mm -hmm. And, um, and you really don't miss her, but, and they, and they've changed so many people like, um, the Alana Bloom is one of the psychiatrists and people, um, uh, people what does who it were... happen along like the timeline? Like, is it before Clarice? Like how do they explain her absence? So it's, I'm not sure if it sticks with the book's timeline, but it is before Clarice, like everything, because everything is Will Graham. Okay. And, uh, and so, it's it's sort of like Red Dragon, like the end of that series was the series of the Red Dragon part where he goes to, he ends up going to Italy to have an, uh, having an old friend for dinner, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. What else are people watching? Any other good shows? Do you get to watch TV much, Sharon? I do. I, I'm definitely like a... Uh, I do like my science fiction. I like anything with time travel. So there's like, um, the time traveler's wife just got turned into a series and I saw the first one. I enjoy that. I'm a huge zombie fan. So like Ooh. been loving walking dead for years, but it's really evolved into a big fat joke. If you watch the, like fear the walking dead, I was watching it. I just watch it now. I don't even know why I watch it, but I, I sit there and I laugh at it. I'm like, how can these actors, take a, I don't know, how can the show still be on TV? Right. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, in case anyone didn't realize, this is certainly not the colors that this butterfly is in real life, only in my brain. Well, there you go. You're doing it the way you want. Yep. And that's 
how I like to roll because I love all these bright colors. I, I know. So funny. I do too. I used to think watercolors were just like, you know, little, um, and I'm sure like there are some, I got too much water on that. Um, I'm sure that there are some that are, you know, still pastel beautiful little um, cabins and things on the beach and, and lighthouses and stuff. But I got to tell you, I am just so into bright colors with watercolors. Yeah. I think that's, that's Lexi for sure. Cause like the owl that she did for the decoupage paper blows my mind. Have you seen that? I don't think I've seen that one. Oh, it is so pretty. It's like a lot of paint splotchy, splotchy. And um, and then this beautiful owl. And it's all in bright, bright colors. That is so cool. It just came out in the latest release of the recycled papers, I think. All right. I will check them out. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should. I'm going to heat this up. Oh, please stand I signed up. I signed up for her class. It's in June, like a mixed media I class. I saw that. I keep yeah. thinking like, oh, sure. I need one more thing I can do in June. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. yeah, I hear you. But I'm actually like a day of just, um, you know, doing art like this, where it's just to chill and have some fun and relax and so often, like one of the biggest changes since I've become a stockist is that, um, like, you know, I'm like this, like I'm, I'm, I'm doing art, but um, it's not like just me in the garage painting stuff and listening to Leonard Skinner. It's, you know. <laughs> right, all cranked up. Yeah, uh, so, and, and don't get me wrong, I still enjoy this, but the idea of just like having um, a day a day of art where I'm just kind of doing my own thing. And I ordered her new bird stamp, which oh, will be nice. using and with the cloche. And so I'm really curious to try that. And it's kind of hard to, you know, promote non-IOD things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So. When you have to have you have to have time for your own thing yes. and your other thing. Exactly. I, I was, um, when I was going through my stamps to try and figure out, um, you know, cause like we, like you said, like, this isn't about selling, this is about using what we like. And, yes. um, I have three of the first, the first gen old stamps, like Fantastico and a couple other ones that nobody can ever get a hold of. And I was like, oh, that would just be mean if I showed up with that. Cause then everyone's uh, like, no, oh, which one is that? And you're like, yeah, no, I can't really get it unless you find a unicorn in the woods or something and they lead you to it. Krista, who's on, I think she's still on. She was, hi, Lynn from Michigan. Hey, um, Lynn. Krista um, and I went to this little sale local to us and we had such a great little time finding some old, some old stuff. That was fun. Like old furniture to paint or oh, old no, the old, cycle? The old IOD. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. You found old IOD at a garage sale? No, no, it was a, sa a sale with another stockist that's down. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, Roseville. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She needed yeah. to make room for new releases oh. and such, and so yeah. she was blowing about the door. Woohoo! <laughs> you know, the, the, I, um, I haven't, I think this is the oldest, this is the first one I got, and I think it's like the oldest, oldest one that I have, too. As far as yeah, like yeah. releases and stuff like that. I love it. My child loves the koi at the school. There's oh, like yeah. a whole koi pond in the middle because their school is um, on the a college campus. Uh -huh. And so it's, it's just really, really awesome that they have this sort of, you know, like reflective, I mean, a reflecting pool, like where you can go and sit and kind of veg out and stuff. And there's tons of koi in there. And they did survive. The, we had a bunch of snow in December. And we, we called it Snowmageddon because so many trees blew down. And we were not ready for that because we don't usually get snow here. And uh, the, we were worried about the koi because the, in, the, um, the ice was like this thick. And so they were in the pond with their ice and, you know, covered over. And we were afraid that they wouldn't make it. But they did. Good. Yeah. Looks like Krista is still here. 
Yay! Her husband is making dinner. What's he making? (laughs) Making anything good? Everything he makes is good. Oh, really? Is he like a chef um, or something? Well, he's Spanish. And so he has all these old school Spanish recipes and stuff. Nice. Krista, I'm going to, now David will be like, oh, yay. And then maybe he'll cook for me. (laughs) I miss, uh, I think I was telling you this other day, or maybe it was Lexi, but like I moved from the Bay Area up here and I love it up here, but it is really hard to find uh, Mexican or Spanish food that hasn't been kind of dialed down for white people. <laughs> totally. <laughs> well, that probably sounds horrible, but like when you live in San Francisco, uh, like I moved from the East Coast to San Francisco and I never really had a taco or a burrito in San Francisco. Uh huh. Oh, it's so funny. When I um, moved here, I had, I, uh, Moved to California because of a boy, of course. I did and... too. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> you know, all the way across the country, why not? Um, and so I had come to visit him. He went to uh, college in Santa Barbara. And I always thought that California was, you know, Hollywood and L.A. I had no idea about San Francisco and about all this beauty and Northern California. And so um, I came to visit and I was like, oh my gosh. And I thought, well, if I move to Santa Barbara, he's going to freak out because, you know, like, I mean, we were buds, but we weren't like meant to be together forever kind of thing. And so I ended up having a friend in San Francisco who needed a roommate. And I, I thought, well, I'll go to San Francisco. And then, you know, we'll see what happens. I never saw him again after I saw <laughs> California. But I, I I, just, like, moving to San Francisco was, like, the best thing I ever, ever did. I love it so much. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was, I had graduated um, from the Corcoran School of Art in Washington, D.C. And I got accepted into... A college in Colorado and a college for like a master's um, and one in New York and um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep doing school and I started dating actually an old boyfriend um, who I had met them when I was living in Washington DC and um, decided oh what you know like I'm not sure about school I'm not sure about this guy but I am sure that I love San Francisco I had visited San Francisco and um, with my sister on a cross country road trip. And uh, so San Francisco, of course the guy didn't work out either, but it's okay. I, met, I, made, it's okay. Actually made <laughs> I made a lot of really great friends through him. So no regrets at all. Exactly, yeah. that's always good. Always good to have, I mean, you know, the we get to where we're supposed to be. And I think that's super important. Oh my God, yeah. I love this butterfly so much. So cute. Let's see. Oh, uh-huh, so I'm pretty. Just like, I'm like a, I'm just like a rainbow thing. Oh, this, yes. Since it's, we're approaching the whole rainbow, rainbow time. Rainbow month. <laughs> I've got, a, well, my, rain, my fish is lots of different colors. It is, but it is, I wouldn't call it rainbow. Yeah. Tropical. Right. Tropical. Tro- I yes. love those peonies too. God, they're amazing. Yes. I'm trying to find like which one is like the perfect color to paint the peony with. Don't think this oh this will work. Let's see here. Oh, making smudges. Let's get some more water on my paint here. Uh, Shannon says people who like me who think pepper is spicy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. My husband eats just the hottest things. And I'm like, what in the world are you eating? It's just like, I can't even imagine. Hurts going in, hurts coming out. I never. uh... (laughs) That was just so funny. (laughs) That's awesome. Yeah. Can't even. I'm going to go for some purple in here. So I don't know if you guys can see like how 
how dark it is when I put it on. I didn't put any water down on this first, which I usually like to do, but so if I come in here and I'm so dark, you can't even see the lines from the very thick ink stamp, but then I just pick it up with a piece of tissue and then you can you can see it again like that. So perfect. That's why I've been using my little this is not snot. This is watercolor paint. <laughs> baby, I have a baby wipe. Oh yeah, baby wipes are awesome. I'm actually almost out. I bought like a thing from Costco about a year ago and now I'm almost out again. You've been busy. What happened? So did you do the mirror spray on your I box? did. It looks Yay. awesome. I'm going Yay. to I put the mirror spray on and then um I did uh back with um this dusty rose spray paint from Rust-Oleum oh, and wow. yeah and so and it looks really good I do want to go back and I think I'm going to put a coat of black behind that because it's I don't know I don't know if I need like a hardcore mirror feel or because it's kind of like a very soft it's very soft, I, I, which I don't know if I like or not. And, and I don't know a better uh -huh. word to describe than soft. It's just kind of like, um, uh, subtle. You can, subtle. yes, you can see the stamp. You can see some things there. Subtle is a very good word. Um, and I'm usually not subtle. So I don't know, maybe, maybe that's not the right. I, I think putting a coat of black paint on the back would kind of give it a little bit more reflection, a little bit more of a hard reflection. Yeah. Um, so I think I'm going to been saving that for tomorrow to do actually. And then I've got the frame I'm going to do. And then I will, uh, um, and then I'll post pictures of probably a video because I've got some pretty good footage of uh, the steps along the way. And the Bella stamp looks really good. It's very, oh. that stamp is that. just like all can be used anywhere for anything. I'm pretty convinced. Yep. So, so Krista just wrote a, wrote a little comment about her hubby. Right. Let's see. He's Castilian from Spain. He learned all the family recipes from his mom. Awesome. Only a very few authentic Spanish restaurants exist. He's the chef artist and I'm the photographic and fine artist. Oh, is that, I'm assuming Krista, that's how you and Kim met is through photography? Yes, it is. I'll let her answer, though. I should let her answer. <laughs> yeah, I'd be curious to know what Kim is like in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, you know, totally boring. No, I <laughs> kind of don't think so. Uh, I have a feeling you're a hoot, but that's just from a few wait, interactions wait. with you. Kind of a oh, I got look what I got. What's that? Was oh, a fox it's mug? A fox mug, yeah. Turn it. it says, can oh, you turn it the other way? Because it's upside down oh, for sorry. us. Yes. Oh, for fox sake! Oh my god! Isn't that cute. And yes. then there's stuff on the inside. What does it, it say? Says, it has an arrow like where you put your lips, and then it says what? What now? on the inside. I can't tip it the right way. Isn't that so cute? Yes, I love it. Oh. We have a, a, a stationery store in our little town and it's and been, it's been um, oh, oops, I just mixed an icky color. Um, it's been um, here for like a hundred and some years, like 140 years maybe. And really? so it's an old stationers and they're retiring. And it's, it's kind of sad because it was a, you know, family owned business and they made it through COVID and they're, they were always like their customer service is so great and they delivered and you could just get pretty much anything office supply related there and lots of little artsy and cute things like that. So I went in there and I was like, these are only four fifty. Let me give you my money. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so cute. Let's see. That's a great mug. Yeah. Do you find, cause I know you like foxes. Do you find that people, um, send you things with foxes on it now? Um, not so much. It's 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 funny because when I when I was younger, when I first got married, I really liked frogs. 
And so I, I made the big mistake of telling everyone, yeah, I really like frogs. And so I had like 500 million frogs. And, um, you know, then people would like, it's one thing to get a cool frog, but then you get like, oh, you like frogs, right? And it'd be like a refrigerator magnet that, you know, is like crazy looking. And so, uh, so then I stopped liking frogs because I got too many. And I haven't told too many people about the fox and people don't notice. Oops, there we go. That I have this tattoo because clearly fox is my spirit animal. Yes. And um, and uh, so I just don't get a lot of fox things. I found a really cool oil painting of a uh, fox and Trucky in a little cafe. I bought that, so I have that at home. But I get to take my fox with me, which is really cool. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna be like foxes now then. Mm-hmm. How long have I liked them? Is that what you said? Uh -huh. uh, probably at least at least three or four years. Because I got my tattoo, I think when I when I, after I turned fifty, I got my tattoo. I got a tattoo when I turned fifty. Was I fifty? Yeah, I was about fifty. It was a uh, of. Uh, 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 a tattoo to commemorate, commemorate turning 50, but more importantly, like uh, I got, I got divorced. I think, I think the divorce happened right after I turned 50. I can't remember, but it was, um, it's a, it's a tattoo from, um, I pull up my sleeve, but anyways, it's from a country song. <laughs> oh, nice. It's from, um, it's a song called Riser. But it is a, uh, it's a, it's just the word riser. It's just a, uh, remind myself to be resilient. And uh, uh, and if you ever watch the video, uh, it's a, uh, I cannot remember the country artist, the guy's name right now. Dirk, Dirk, Dirk. I have no help there. Yeah. I know um, like two, two country artists. I like, I like some of it, but I don't know names at all. Well, I'm pretty convinced that the best year ever for country music was the summer I got divorced. <laughs> See? Uh, best year ever for, for you, too. Well, maybe, yeah. maybe not since, because now you have a new man. I do. Good stuff. I do. I'm very fortunate. I know. I feel like that. That's I'm here because my husband took our child to the talent show so i really appreciate that yeah it's a good one and yours was willing to do all your shipping although you got to stay home and do that yourself didn't you yes yeah i actually had trained my husband on because so the funny story is that um um, I've been planning to go to the East Coast to see my best friends, and we were going to go to the Paul McCartney concert. Yes, you're Bentley, Shanna, that's correct. Um, and so, yeah, we're supposed to go to uh, this concert and see Paul McCartney. And um, see, I hadn't seen my best friends for about, like, for at least four years since I got married to my husband. They came to my wedding. And um, my husband came down with, uh, and I, so I trained, trained him. I showed him how to do the shipping and packing or thing. He's probably better at it than me. And wow, nice. he was all set to do it. So I go get a little bit of a break and see my friends. And then he came down with COVID. Which uh, was scary at first, but then um, he, he did not get it. He did not get a horrible case. I think being vaccinated probably helped. And uh, he took antibiotics and he just isolated. And uh, so, I, yeah, I canceled my trip. And then I didn't tell you this. One of my friends who we were going to go see, she came down with COVID. So even if I had decided and I went all the way out there, um, ah. she had COVID. Um, and then her partner got COVID. And it's just been like just a real shit show excuse my language with Pretty that, much. Yeah, things and stuff like that lately like we really were looking forward to seeing each other and then then all of this happened but 
You, ju you just think we're like, yeah, thanks, COVID, the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to like stay, stay muzzled because I'm going to see my mom in Tennessee a week from Saturday and I yeah. haven't seen her in a long time and I have to go and I'm, I'm a little scared, but yeah, I wish I, you know, I'm, I'm not like I've been wearing masks again. People are looking at me funny. I went shopping today. Um, and uh one of our we have a local kitchen gadget store which is so cool and so i went in there this morning after i got my coffee and you know I, it's just me and the girl in there but i'm like yeah i'm wearing my mask no fence or anything i just cannot risk getting it here and not being able to see my mom yeah and if i get it even if i get it on the way or get it there i gotta get it there yeah God, yeah you gotta see her Yeah, we started, um, my kids had to wear their masks to school because since John got sick, it's basically, and we, we all kept testing negative, but they tell you, even if you test negative, you need to put your mask out in the public. So we're like, okay. Right, right. So my son, my daughter didn't really care, but my my 15-year-old son, I think it was kind of cramping his style a little bit, but he, as far yeah. as I know, he still did it. Yeah. I think my child is like, um, and they're they're like four friends that are like total best buds, and they all have never stopped wearing their masks at school. Yeah, and and uh, it's so funny because I'm like, at first I was like, well, you know, it's a bit of overkill, and now I'm like, nope, really glad you didn't. <laughs> Just yeah. keep doing that. I don't like it, you know, but it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, my glasses fog. Up. I hate yeah, them. it yeah. gives me wrinkles, and <laughs> I look older than I actually am, and my vanity kicks in. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? Oh, speaking of, this is I, so I I couldn't get my hair appointment until like next week before my I leave on my trip. So I was like, I'm wearing like a do rag on my head so that. <laughs> I love it. Because I, I was like, oh, I can't let anyone see my horrible hair because I don't do Madison Reed, uh -huh. but I could. But I, I trade with my hairdresser for photos, so it's really a win-win. Yeah, situation. I would on do that. the same thing to say the truth, but mm -hmm. I'm not wearing a do rag. But I got, I decided I would just put my hair up in a bun and try and stay off camera with my, with my hair. <laughs> there we go. It's not a beauty contest, right, everybody? It is not. I would Some rather do watercolor than color my hair tonight um, or pretty right? much at this point. Yeah. I'd rather hang out with my girlfriends. Like, exactly. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. uh, you have to move your thing over a little bit towards your paint. I can't see it. I just noticed that. <gasps> yeah, that's so pretty. Thank you. I want to do a different color in here inside the flowers. Uh huh. I'm not sure what I'm thinking looks because it's like a turquoise and a purple, and turquoise mm. is like a bluish yellowish. So I'm thinking maybe a blue in here. I don't Ooh. know. Or else you, you could think? just go crazy and put yellow in there. I don't know. Okay. I mean, one of the things about blue is like I want my water to be mostly blue. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, that's right. You're gonna do the water around them, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go for my yellow. <laughs> yeah, that's right, <laughs> Shannon. It's like, uh yeah i just care about myself and you and so i'm just gonna do it i'm not being political i'm just gonna do it i get it i don't think i've told you this but my um husband is a pastor and his oh. congregation is like you know there's a lot of elderly people in there and uh -huh. um he's very much like uh uh, they've been very cautious because of, you know they don't want to get any of their parish members sick. But absolutely, uh, I'd be horrified you know, if that happened. I think he's pretty much like because we were getting pretty loose with the masks, um, but I think now after 
after this, he has no idea where he got it from, but he's, I think he's going to be wearing a mask when he's like around his parishioners. Yeah. yeah. My mother-in-law just turned 90. And oh my gosh. So we, she's in assisted living and we go and visit her every week. So we often test before we go or, or whatever, just to make sure. Cause 90, you know, that's <laughs> pretty really significant. Yeah. 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 I keep thinking, I think that she was younger than I was when she had my husband. Oh, wow. Than I was when we had our baby. And so it's kind of crazy, like, oh my gosh, we're going to be older than that. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> our child will be like in, in his 50s and then end up having to like have a 90 year old mom. Hope, hope he's ready to take care of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had my first at 38 and then Joey, my son had like a month before I turned 40. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And so I've been telling him, you're going to have to change my diapers one day. Yeah. I changed you for that. You're going to be having kids changing their diapers and changing my diapers. <laughs> like, it's not really that funny, mom. I'm like, oh, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> That's what matters. <sighs> that is what matters. Oh, man. Yeah, I was 42. Oh, wow. Yeah. So what do they call us when we get to that age? It's a... Uh, oh, um, oh, geriatric baby. pregnancy yes. or something like that? The yeah. Geriatric pregnancy. I saw Those that and I was like... Should not go together. <laughs> they really shouldn't. I mean, it's wrong for so many reasons. Yep. Is anyone painting along with us? I hope they are. That's a good question. Who's out there painting? You want to know? Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah. Okay, this is really weird. I've like put the, these white dots on here like a million times, and the white like stayed really good in some of it, but like it's not staying. I, I see it. That okay. looks really pretty. Thank what you. do you think is, is it like dry versus wet or paint? I don't know. Like now it's, I think that the, um, the paper was a bit wet because I had just, uh, there's also a lot of ink there and it might have, that might have something to do with it because there's a lot of dense ink in the stamp in that part. Oh, it looks so much brighter on, oh, it must be my groovy lighting. Oh, wait, let's see. Should we have a disco show? Let's see. Ooh. That actually looks more like what it really looks like. Let's see. Now I, I changed my my ring light to whatever other kind of thing it was. Oh boy. I tell you what, there are so many things that you can buy if you want to do a live stream. Whee! It's so yeah. much fun. <laughs> this thing is the jankiest thing ever. All right, and then yellow there. Shannon's looking for her butterfly stamps to paint. Yeah, there were, I, I started doing that. Um, I got a bunch of old sheet music from a thrift store and it looked really cool to stamp on the, on the um, sheet music. Oh, I think I might still have one around here. This was a little experiment in, um, stamping and watercoloring and these are my tickets to the sf moma and i i dark oh, waxed it or did something. isn't that cool oh wait yes. that, that's the twill rose yeah, yeah. Twill. it's or or it's fleur there's there's an old one that has the same type of rose twill in it is it toil or tall it's toil right I don't, so I, always, I don't know. I don't know. You know <laughs> I saw somebody um, talking about the IOD, uh, the names for things, you know, like the one, that one great, um, is it the paint and lay? No, it's the stamp. It's like the Cosette stamp, but it says something else on it, like the uni, Unilevers or I don't know, some French words. And um, so people were like trying to like pronounce that. And I'm like, it just keeps getting more and more and more and more and more 
like you have to have a master's degree in French now. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think with um, Brocant, if you if you actually use every single transfer in Brocant, and maybe I'm not pronouncing that right, I think uh, you, you should be speaking French because there's so many transfers in that pad. Oh, I love that but, one. Yeah. That was my favorite one for a long for, for a long time. And then I hoard I hoarded it and uh, I was just like sitting here going, no, I can't use that. No, I can't use that. And I finally used the Eiffel Tower on a suitcase, which looks amazing. And what else did I do that with that? I put a lot of stuff on that suitcase. It's like the Brocant um, yes. project. Um, I love it. Well, I ordered a ton of Brocant because I want to have backup. <laughs> <laughs> totally. So they, I mean, these, they like sell out and they, and then they, they retire them and you're just like, wait, but, but yeah, wait. I, I wasn't done with that. Yeah. I was afraid I wasn't going to get my hands on, um, Desperado. And oh. then I finally did. I was, I was really afraid that that one was just going to be like, it seemed like everybody, when that came out, everybody was doing really cool projects with it. And I, and so I was just like, okay, I thought I could like, you know, I don't know, not spend like hundreds of dollars every month on this stuff. You know, just an idea. <laughs> but I had to. Yeah. Um, I have to say, like, I think I've only sold one or two Desperados, but it's one of my favorites. I actually been putting that on a suitcase, a couple different suitcases. And I didn't, I wasn't liking like, the suitcase. One of the suitcases was so old the transfer wasn't sticking down. And I tried different ways to get it to stick, wasn't working, and I was like, ah, and I threw it to the side. And my daughter came in the room, uh -huh. she's picky pants, and she's like, oh, that looks so fantastic. That's my favorite thing you've ever done. I was like, no wow. way. It's broken, but that's cool, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's hard to splatter on here. Okay, now I don't like that. I like the splatters, but I don't like them everywhere. Dab, 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 dab. I was going to, um, the next time I, I do something on one of these pages, I think I'm going to put some gesso kind of in a little oval or something and paint in there. Because I really like it, but I also, I mean, I, I do. I really do like it. I think it looks good without the, uh, there we go. I think it looks good with the text. I love the text. I was afraid, like, you could, like we couldn't really read it, but it does to be really nice it's not right really about reading it but it's like it's like the text is like a texture in the background right. yeah it's, it's just like butterfly. it's like typed um typed uh kind of regard yes. put that behind everything I love Ooh, it. my so. desk is so messy my kindest regards i think was one of my very first stamps i got oh really how yeah. long has kindest regards been around for um, probably it, it actually, I got it. It wasn't new when I got it. So I think I got it. I started in IOD in like, like three years ago, three, maybe four years okay. ago. It's one of my favorites too. It's like, you can't go wrong. Like when you have it in the background, mm -hmm. it's like, uh, it's kind of like the, it, it goes with everything. There's yeah, like totally. Like, yeah, like there's nothing that it won't go with, like no transfers or other stamps that it won't complement. Oh, Krista, you can come here and borrow some stamps until you get more. Oh, that's better. As I'm trying to splash. It's a very happy butterfly. Yeah. It's found a good book to read. It's just settling in and enjoying the book. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Hey, here's a here's a tip that I just discovered. Yeah. <laughs> yes. If you mash your your uh, brush on there, then it splatters really good. Except for this ugliness here. <sighs> Hold it up a little bit closer to the camera, please. That's very pretty. 
Ooh, the it says attack. attack. Yeah. So funny because the butterfly is like the exact opposite of, is it like the butterfly attack? I don't know. Yeah. Right. The attack of the butterfly. I love reading some of these things because it's like, did you hit the man? I asked the captain. No, sir, replied Joyce. I believe not, sir. Next best thing is to tell the truth, muttered Captain Smollett. Like, it's just, it's such, such a classic book. Yeah. And uh, there was my other one that I did had something about a wolf. And, um, and it doesn't have any illustrations, but I do have, I have a hard time, like, tearing apart books. So it's, I bought some at a, at a really cool thrift store that we have that I got them for like a dollar or something crazy. And, um, and it was, it was just nuts. Like I wanted to decoupage some of the pages and I could not tear it apart. Really? But this book. Yeah. I couldn't, I just couldn't bring myself to like break the binder. That's so funny. I got no problem. I'll rip things up. I'll paint over <laughs> things. You know, I was telling yeah, you the story this, about the woman who heard that I was going to be upcycling her table that I paid her three dollars <laughs> for. And it was right? maybe worth ten, and she's like, "Oh no, don't upcycle it! Don't pay it over it!" And I was like, "I'm okay." And uh, yeah, ha <laughs> ha, lies. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, look at this thing. It's like, look how like it's so beat up. Oh yeah, it's done. No one's it's gonna be able not- to read that. Yeah, exactly. And it smells so bad. Like Ew. at least it, it doesn't smell like cat pee. So that's a good that's a that's a bonus. Yeah. Apparently everything, everything in that yard sale or that um estate sale smelled like that. And I was Ew. like, oh yeah. I was <laughs> My- in a house like that and I just it was like the smell of sadness. I, was like, I know, right? Let me go this way. <laughs> yes. mm. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add this guy up here, and then I'm gonna like mush around some more stuff on my, on this. Let's see, I picked such a tiny. Oh, that water looks so good. <gasps> I love it. I love watercoloring. I, and I, I, you had mentioned that somewhere that you had watercolor for a long time and then you were able to pick it back up and get back into it. Yep. Is that right? So what made you like just pick it up and get back into it? Like um, was... In your video. <laughs> really? That's yeah. So um, yeah. It feels it's like it would like, be oh. like... Not that my video wasn't enough, but it's just like, it feels like there's got to be like some kind of change that happens in your brain that yes. in okay. where you think like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There, um, So I have been just like this frustrated um, artist for a while because being a photographer, you know, you're, I, I never used to let myself believe I was an artist being a professional photographer. Probably about 10 years ago, I took an amazing class with this woman who just kind of changed my life. She's also a photographer, but she's a, um, she has her MFA um, and she lives in New Mexico and she's just amazing. And so she's, we, we took a photo, I took a photography workshop with her and we never, even picked up our cameras like really it was, yeah it was so cool we made van dyke brown prints um used you know the actual chemistry to like um and you know there's something about when you're a photographer and you take that take that that print that you take off the enlarger and you stick it in this in the stuff and you slosh it and you see that image come up that's kind of like nothing has done it for me like that in the world of digital photography and so it just kind of got more back into the analog thing and more artsy and then I got more artsy with the stuff I did for my clients which was really fun and I feel really lucky that they kind of came along on that ride with me but I was just really feeling overwhelmed trying to keep my business going and and you know having great um, challenges and excitement with my child and stuff like that. So it was just really 
kind of, I needed a different outlet. And I thought I just wanted to, what I was surprised that after I got my watercolors from you and I went to the park that I actually wanted to paint freehand, which was, I was, I mean, I'm not that good. Apparently I can, I can paint pears and I'm good at that. But um, other than that, I'm, I'm just not that good at thinking up what I want to do, um, you know, from the scratch, I guess. Well, I don't know. I, I thought your pair was really good. It's, um, I think it's like, I think what you were saying about taking yourself, like removing yourself from an area where maybe it's not conducive to trying new things and just mm -hmm. kind of going for it. And, you know, a pair is like, it's a shape we've seen a lot. Yeah. And, and yeah. So it's just kind of like, and just, also kind of like not really being too concerned. Like it's a pair. If I mess up a right. pair, I throw it away. Right, Gosh, exactly. <laughs> it's so true. Like no one, the art police are not going to come pull you over and no, say, hey, they're not. that sucked. You shouldn't do that. You're not an artist. We're Who are you to back. paint pairs, Kim? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> no, no, honestly, honestly. <laughs> yeah, so true so true and i uh, yeah i i just I, i've been i've been kind of i always want to do things differently you know like i like to make something with tools like the iod stuff or you know other kinds of like molds and things like that and then i want to like kind of make it weird or make it different mm -hmm. you know it's like this it's like okay this it's the same 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 different that's kind of my motto like oh well this is like you know like something else that would be an homage to someone and and then all of a sudden it it, it doesn't look like their thing anymore and i think lots of i think artists sometimes newer artists are afraid to copy someone mm -hmm. and that's just that's just silly because that's how you learn you find something oh, yeah. you like and you copy it. Le Lexi said that the other night in your, in your chat with her. Mm -hmm. I love that. Like, you want to learn how to do something? Do something every day. Do it every day. And you will get really good at it really fast. And that was cool. Yeah, I thought that was really good. <laughs> Just um, every day. And don't judge yourself when you're doing it. Just kind of right. en en enjoy the experience and, like, you know, what happens when I jiggle my brush, you know, around right. these edges here? And um, it's like, for me, I try to look at, I look at it as experimenting and creating. I don't look at it as I'm going to make a masterpiece. <laughs> right. Yes. Right. The, the, who needs that kind of pressure? I know, right? At this point in life? Uh-uh. Well, my danger. My photography job can give me that kind of pressure easily. I don't need yes. that anymore. <sighs> I get to photograph a, a young model for her modeling agency portfolio shots tomorrow. Nice. So that's that's going to be fun. Take me out of my comfort zone because I have to leave my studio and go do things outside and I don't like to do things outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it'll be like your pair, right? Where true. true. Yeah. This is really funny. This looks like crap in the camera, but it looks really cool. Uh, if you can that looks it looks pretty. super Yeah, it looks super, super bright on the camera, but it's not quite as obnoxious as that. As we're as I'm talking about ju not judging myself, and then I judge myself. Why do I do that? Why do we do that to ourselves? It's just yeah. such second nature. Sometimes it's just it takes a lot out of us. Yeah, uh, it's kind of like uh, uh, you know, like we hear. Are we hearing other people's voices in our heads? And now it's just become our own tape. Yes, absolutely. Shannon wants to know, have either of us oil painted? Mm -mm. I oil. have not. Only acrylics and watercolors. And only a little bit in acrylic. 
Do you do do you do that, Shannon? I think oil painting is supposed to be. So like watercolor is kind of like you can build layers and like acrylic you can fix easily if you mess up. Mm -hmm. But my understanding is like oil, you know, say goodbye. Yeah, it's it basically that's it. You messed it up. Okay, throw it out and start over. I have um so the interesting thing that I've been doing lately with my photography clients, I photograph a lot of um, burlesque dancers and so wow. I have the chance to photograph like um, fine art nudes sometimes. And I think that really lends itself to like a painterly kind of thing. And so I painted uh, this girl. And so I started with the photograph and then I opened another layer in Photoshop and I used some of the, I, have, I haven't learned a whole lot of skill in this area yet, but I'm, I'm just a baby steps. And so I, um, I just put on, it looks like an oil painting. And then I, I had it printed and framed on canvas. And uh, the gal came to my studio and she took a picture of it and put it on her Instagram and said, when Kim Sayre makes makes a painting out of you. And I was just Whoa. like, aw, that was so That's sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. What's your favorite subject matter for photography? People, hands down people. Is like people portraits, people doing with their something, you know, interesting or like what are the people doing? Well, I get, um, I, I feel like I really connect well with my subjects. And so it doesn't matter if it's just like a quote unquote, just a headshot or if it's a formal portrait with a consultation where we've talked about you know, what they're trying to portray in the image and if there's something they're trying to say. I, I, it, it doesn't really matter if it's, if it, if I feel like I, I captured what they came to me to capture. So it could just be simple and it could be completely complex. I have a, I guess I can't really show it to you, but on my wall is this beautiful portrait of a, a girl who was about nine years old and she was struggling with scoliosis. Mm. And so I photo photographed her several times. And, you know, to document her fight, she's doing it non-surgically in the Bay Area. And her her mom is her mom is actually, she was the first woman snowboarder, professional snowboarder. So she's all up in there with like Sean White and all these famous snowboarders that were traditionally men. And so she's got a fighting spirit and then her daughter has this really fighting spirit. And so I built a chair out of, I'm totally obsessed with chairs. And I, I built one with moss and plants and all kinds of different things hanging off it that had significance, just like an old master's painting. And that was probably one of my favorite projects still to this day that I've done. Can you imagine the pressure of having scoliosis and your mom's like this world champion? Right? Yeah. yeah. It's really interesting. I mean, her mom is, you know, obviously like her biggest cheerleader and, you know, yeah. really always applauds her strength and, and it's, and it's really, really, really cool. But I imagine that those are some big shoes to fill. And she's yeah. not, you know, she's not trying to, I just really love this family a lot because, you know, her mama is not trying to make her fill any shoes either. Like it's, you know, she's very clear about that. And the daughter is her own person. And uh, it's, it's just amazing to see them together. And, you know, she was, uh, she went to Montessori school. Both of them did actually, her, her mother and then now the child. And they just are kind of a different level of, of people. I really just love doing anything with them, hanging out. Nice. Coincidentally, she's uh, the mom is now also a painter. And so she's done beautiful work. Uh, I'll send you a link. But she's done really beautiful work um, where they, and they've put it on snowboards and stuff to, to raise money for breast cancer and just really killer stuff. And she has a very, she's mixed media, lots of collage type work. And then she has, original 
sketches that she did from when she was in high school. And she's about our age. She's maybe a little bit younger than we are. And, uh, and so it's really cool. Like she drew these like eighties girls with these big eyes and how that stuff all works. So it was, it's really neat. How about you? What's your favorite thing to paint? Hmm. I love furniture. I, I love finding a piece of shit on the side of the road and hauling yeah. it in the car and bringing it home and figuring out how to how to take it from something that was literally left on the side of the road to something that some people are fighting over to pay me for. And it's not about nice. the car, but it's just like like if they if these people ever saw it on the side of the road, they just would have kept on driving. But I love picking um, things that have been abandoned and finding like restoring their beauty again. And yeah, yeah it's I don't I and I started doing that about a year before um, I realized I needed to get divorced. And so oh. it was like, I, I think it was very much a metaphor. <laughs> right? <laughs> what's going on in my life, I didn't like, even like really realize like I was the piece of furniture on the side of the road and I was um. being abandoned and I was beautiful and I have all this potential um, in so many different ways. And just because you're leaving me on the side of the road doesn't mean that's where I belong. And yeah. Uh, yeah, so um, and, I'm very. And, and you, oh, that's uh -huh. so cool! I love that. I'm well, looking for Shannon. Forward. Shannon, you should um, you should reach out if you want to talk more about that. I think that it, photography is not that hard to learn. You just need a little, you know, a little support here and there. Because I, I think I have a lot of people that say you know oh oh i really i really wish i could be a photographer or or i also have people say wow you must have a really good camera and we all know nothing, what nothing, nothing to do with it right? yeah it's funny that's it you know you that learn to just like death now <gasps> look at that woohoo big splatter <laughs> it's on my face now too. I didn't think I about think that. Part. I, I like the splatter. It's like, I do too. Um, like it was like things were crawling across the page. Right. It's like a dirty windshield in the sunset. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> story. Yeah. yeah I, I remember um, being a wedding photographer and having people like you know you tell them, you know, I I was a very artistic wedding photographer and. So I love relationships and I love the stress and the, the craziness that can happen on a wedding day and all this kind of really cool stuff. And so, you know, people would be like talking about the, oh, you have a really great camera that, that, that it was usually, I hate to, I hate to not, I don't want to knock guys, but it was always men that would say, well, how many Michael Pixels does your camera ha have? And I was like, doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, but you know, I have a camera and it has blah, blah, blah. And a lot of times, you know, they spent, as a hobbyist, they spent more money and they were they were just kind of all caught up in those details. And really my big thing was to, you know, capture that emotion, um, capture the, one of my favorite things shooting weddings was when the bride would um, get dressed. Like she would be, you know, in hair and makeup and then all of her bridesmaids and her mom and everything were gathered around and then she put that dress on and that transformation of a beautiful, lovely woman um, becomes a bride. It's something completely different. It's just, it's just amazing to me. And I really yeah. always love that. I will always shoot weddings, even though I don't market them anymore. I go and shoot with a friend of mine who lives in Florida and gets, really nice fancy weddings up in Napa because I just love that stuff. Love it. Very yeah, rude. people are, aren't they, Shannon? <laughs> people are so rude. They're just like, oh yeah, yeah. And Picasso must have had a great brush and that chef must have a really good oven. Cause you know, yeah. it couldn't be about the person. <laughs> That's like a great zinger right there. I love that. 
out. Okay, I feel like, see now call me crazy. I feel like blue, what do you think? Is it gonna be dumb? Should I splash it, splatter it with blue? Oh, that's a little bit closer to the camera. Okay, it's, this is like double the saturation of what it really looks like. It's not really okay. that color. There we go. And I, think we go. I think it's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, you, that's the thing. I, I never know when to stop, but it is pretty right? good now. When I look, when I hold it back, I'm like, oh yeah, here we go. Sorry, I was holding it the wrong way. So when you yes. get to see, okay, there it is. Yeah, see, that's more like what it really looks like in per person. Look at that though. It looks Whoa. like a moth again, just like she was saying. It looks like it's flying off the thing. It does. Wow. I love it. <laughs> oh, see the blue. I, God, I just love. I love your water so much. This is this is. I, I still have more to do, but I'm loving doing like the water currents and the just kind of coming in here and seeing what happens when you add the water behind it. Yeah, I saw a little tiny fish over here. I haven't gotten to this one yet. I have no idea what I want to do with her. Oh, I love that she's like off the page too. I totally yeah. love that. She's like, should I come in? And she's like, she's like coming in and she's getting out. She's like, mm -mm, yeah. fish, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the big fish is like, come on over here. I will eat you for lunch. <laughs> Let me show you. Well, we're coming. We've been going for how long now? Oh, we're almost at an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Yeah. So I think we need to probably say goodnight. We can wrap <laughs> it up. We can wrap it up. There's still more painting. I'll I'll, I'll post my finished stuff on Facebook tomorrow. And yeah, yeah, I would love if you would send me some snaps of yours too, and that I could post also. I absolutely will. Please, everybody, thank you so much for coming. It was nice to have, you know, we can we can sit and chat with ourselves the whole time, and it's so nice to have like other people and kind of we feel like we're in a group, and that I love. Me too. Yeah. I, I love, I, I, you know, and the other thing too is we can bring on more water coloring. So uh -huh. if you found Shannon, or if you guys want to um, share your water coloring, we can just we can have a whole bunch going on. So I think yeah, we have like up to five or six people on yeah I, hard um but that I would be I super that. fun yeah it'd be super, super fun isn't cool it? yeah and then we could talk and then you have to put comments in and hope okay. that we see them <laughs> yes yes <laughs> you know this, yeah. this is the, so everybody made it really easy because this is like the first time i've really done this so thank you sharon for oh, having me so on fun. and mm. well i'm so glad that you're that you're that you joined and we're willing to go on camera because I know it can be a little bit vulnerable um but it's like it's wonderful to be able I mean like look I mean it's just like I mean I really had fun doing this it's I'm not done yet but it's like again I'm not trying to be Picasso I'm just really trying to create a fun experience uh for myself for you guys but also on a piece of paper and you know it's just like on um, weeks like this, it's just like you need it. Oh, you need to yes, like you do. Get out of your head and get the color out on paper, and it's like a form of meditation for me. So completely, yeah. even watching people paint is like meditation to me. So that's awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, All right. Good night, well, everyone. Thanks to everybody thanks who everybody. watched Sandy, Shannon, Krista, and I feel like there was another person who joined us. Yes, day. Sandy. Uh, yep. Sandy, yeah, Sandy's here, mm -hmm. and Mary um, Casey was yeah. here a while ago. Yep, yeah, so nice. Thanks oh, you guys for, for a while. Have a great time. evening, Pam. It was Yay. awesome. We'll catch up later awesome. in the week. Okay, definitely. All right, Talk bye. To you later. bye.